Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Learning. In this episode, I'm gonna try to answer this question by Zuga Master. Basically, he wonders if splines or whatever curve can be rendered with a beautiful rounded corner at the beginning at the end. And it's already it's all also asked over here at Blender Community. Um, he has a couple of solutions, but it's uh, none of them is perfect, and I think. That's kind of nice uh, solutions there, but I have a way to do it using SketchUp nodes, and this is one of them. Basically, just to instance a lot of spheres on on the curve. So in this case, I'm using Grease Pencil, so I can still make changes as well here. Um, so yeah, let's see how I do this from scratch. So let's go to the front view, delete everything. Just gonna draw the grease pencil blank draw. So I'm gonna make this uh, kind of like an art, curly art. It has beginning and it has the end points. Okay. So with grease pencil, actually, if you want, uh, you can still kind of sculpt it and make it smoother. It's actually really neat features and yeah, maybe we should do that at some point. For now, I'm just gonna save this very quickly. Round curve. And stretch of nose. Shift A and just type in GP to get this macro. There's first one and second one. I'm just gonna be using the second one. There. So we have these points uh, kind of instance along the curve. So the curve being resampled. Um, and the next thing we can do is simply to use instancing. So we use this as viewer. We have sphere. Gonna instance it on this curve. Gonna turn on smoothing. So yeah. This can be done of course using particle as well. We simply need to turn on merge. We're gonna merge all the points. Pipe this, uh, pipe these dots into the curve. So we're gonna have a lot of curve, but it creates rounded uh, corner. I mean, it's create rounded uh, end and start. So and we we probably have a lot of point at this point. We need to be careful. So we have 816 points. I'm gonna reduce the points so you can see what's going on. Okay. The nice thing, of course, we can control the beginning and, and the end radius. And the interesting thing, of course, Currently, this grease pencil is flat, right? From the front view, it's flat, and they're intersecting. If this is like a neon, neon light, we don't want it to be intersecting. So how do uh, we solve this? One of the solutions is to use the re rewire, vector rewire. With rewire, we can rewire is to any uh, plane but in this in our case we're gonna use the scalar and the scalar in the in the x-axis I want to control it using a number so we're gonna create a number between 0 and 1 and the count will be coming from list length. 
and the range goes in here. So with this method, we can, oops, uh, we can change the value. Uh, let's see, did I make a mistake? Okay, I need to plug in the length into this, into the count. Oh, it's doing a, it's giving a cyclic, okay, mistake. Can I use rewire? This color into the x-axis and this goes in there range number So this length can go into this guy over here, and the range can go to this color. Okay. Now we can see the grease pencil strokes. It's kind of drifting apart. But this is a uh, the nice thing. Of course, we can control the points position now based on this value over here. Start and stop. And I will be using oscillator. I'm gonna plug this value to this guy and oscillate the point so it, it doesn't drift too far. It's kind of like adding a noise into this guy and oscillate it so they are not intersecting. It's a weird method, but it's it's it should be working for hours. Um, so we take a wire, this sphere. So I want to see still the length. We have 130 points we can instance on this curve. We can increase the number. And you should have a result. Let's make this five. Here we go. So we shouldn't forget that SketchUp also have a polyline viewer. And we can just plug in this vector into this guy and we have a curve so but this curve I mean this curve is very efficient and we can also turn on this line but the end part maybe need to be covered with a sphere skin modifier is also one of the solutions so we have uh, multiple solutions here so this one is using Curve. The end is just flat. We have uh, also ways just to use skin modifier or skin measure.
This one sometimes give a interesting result, however. Then something to be to keep in mind. There's also another way. Um, is to use the bevel bevel curve. It's a vector rewire. Viewer. This is a circle. And this one is actually interesting. We can do resampling ourselves. And we can control the radius. This one is also has that disease making it slightly twisting sometimes. I mean they're all pretty interesting. This one's still overlapping so I'm gonna fix that first. There. The easiest solutions, of course, is to just cover this with a, with a sphere. In this case, I'm going to try really high value. It's going to create like thousands of points, but it's actually pretty fast. Another solution is to use the spare chalk nodes to to cover and take care of the ends while you're there. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, my take on these questions by Zugamasta. Very interesting uh, problem, but yeah, so hopefully this is useful, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.